Hello, Soul Tribe, my spiritual warriors. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, and all of that other stuff that y'all do to support me. I really, I truly appreciate everything. Everything, I appreciate it. And I do welcome you to my channel, Spiritual Guidance 1111. Here to do another reading, to chit chat with y'all. Uh, still in Memphis, waiting to load, and not sure when, but you know, maybe tomorrow, day after. Who knows? Whenever they call us, we're ready. Uh, oh, read the disclaimer. I'm not none of those things. I'm whatever, whatever, whoever told y'all I'm one of them things that ain't true. No, they was telling a fictional story. <laughs> right. See, they were telling a fictional story. Yeah. And, oh, and I got a, 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 somebody put a comment wanting to know, you know, why I don't wear the same pair of glasses. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and answer this one now. I got a lot of very, I'm like Fred Sanford. When it comes to glasses, I got a drawer I just take out now. But anyway, I, uh, to be honest with you, forget. I'm, uh, I, 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 like these, I leave in the wheelhouse and I, put them on my other pair that I have the round ones they in my bag and when I think about it I put them on it's it's not it's like it's not that big of a deal they're both the same strength <laughs> ever I have ordered me some on Amazon they they are like stronger and <laughs> uh but uh and I go to a eye doctor when I get off my bride's gonna have to bring me over there because they're gonna dilate my eyes. You can't see nothing when you leave from that poor thing. You're blind. But anyway. Mm. I uh, I just wanted to answer that person. Uh, another comment about my last reading. Uh, they had a if I remember right, there was a Queen of Cups and a, I think a Seven of Cups in the reverse, and they said that's not what it meant. And I respect what you, what you believe. I respect your interpretation of the cards if you're reading it. But I was reading it, <laughs> and I don't want to. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to appear rude, but. Uh, when I read cards, I don't read just one card. No, I read, I, I look at everything around that card. And everything around a card, everything like when I'm going to start a reading and I put a card down, I normally wait till I get to like the third, the third card or you at least three cards. And then I begin, it gives you a better picture of what this card means to in relation to the other cause and I've explained that before so I mean I don't know why I gotta keep explaining that but you know and I, I, I challenge everyone if you start a channel please I will plug you on my channel I will help you yes I, I have no problem with that no problem at all I in fact uh, uh, I have a friend of mine and she retro terror Retro started her channel and I plugged her on my channel and I I encourage all of my My listeners watchers subscribers All of y'all go to her channel and check it out. I want you to I Believe in sharing the love <laughs> We should that's the only reason my channel grew is because somebody loved me enough to plug me mystic beauty That's my girl love her a lot. Ooh. Oh Lord. Anyway, uh, we're going to start our reading and uh, I already shuffled. Uh, I prayed over the cards, asked the Holy Spirit to give us what's, what message he wants us to have. Not what we want, but what he wants. And uh, give the message to me and I'll give it to you and we'll go from there. I hope you enjoy the readings. I, I do. I do. I always hope that uh, y'all like whatever I deliver. So we're gonna do a pyramid. Oh, somebody's in. 
somebody's in devil energy. I don't like this card, but we're going to take it because that's what the Holy Spirit gave to us to start our reading with. But this is the base card. The devil energy. Hmm. You know, we gotta, we're going to roll with this until we things change. You know, and I, I, what I like about... I've also had to explain my, the, my spread, the pyramid spread that I do. I've heard some, you know, we've never seen that done. That's fine. You don't have to. You don't have to. It doesn't mean not every reader does the same thing. This is a spread that I developed myself, and I like it. I, I can get a better reading of the cards as they fall and what card means, like this one right here, devil energy. It's a lustful, it's a vengeful, a hateful energy. What's the reason for it? We'll find out. The Holy Spirit, find out. Part of the reason is they're suffering. That's, that's part of the reason. This person is suffering. Whoever this is about is in pain. What's, what's, the, what's the pain about? What's causing the pain? You know, who knows? But we'll, we'll work on it for sure. Uh, my nose is running and itching. Whew. I'm going to tell you something else. <laughs> With them, when you're reading and you're spiritual, when you're reading and something uh, like your nose begins to itch, there's a reason for that. In the spiritual terms, when your nose itches or it begins to water real bad or... or or run as in the spiritual aspect of things when you're reading it means trouble there's something there's, there's trouble in the in the energy it's a fact you don't have to believe me and you can <laughs> it's a fact anyway my grandpa said he always used to tell me he said t boy he says it's better when your nose itch than your butt itch. Okay. <laughs> so I just always went along with that. I was like, okay, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, so, Lord. <laughs> Suffering and pain. That's why the end of, yes. Yes. This person, this person is, see this? Mm. They're thinking about they're in their head they're thinking about something and it's causing them to turn towards the devil energy which is a hateful energy a, a vent they, they, they vengeful right now they pissed they're upset and that's what pain does pain causes somebody to uh, you when if if you begin to hurt somebody not everybody but the majority of the people, the, the the what we would call the normal reaction, is when you hurt somebody. Their normal reaction is one of two things: fight or flight. They either gonna pull away, flight, or it's on. They're gonna fight. And this person right here, they 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 in that pissed off fight mode. They they vengeful. They they feel that vengeance. They want to they want to strike back. To who we don't know yet, but somebody won't. And this is within my soul tribe, my spiritual warriors, whoever this person is, it's, it's, it's your energy, it's on your mind. This is on your mind, not my mind. I'm just speaking for you. I am delivering a message to you. And this comes from the Holy Spirit. Oh, oof. you see what I still said? Anger. They pissed. Assed up. Assed up from the floor up. Damn. Calm down, boo. Insanity. They, something is driving this person mental. Somebody that's in your energy. Somebody is... My God. What is causing that... So much. See, what they're thinking about, they they suffering and they in pain because they're thinking about something that 
uh, uh, reflecting on things that happened in in the past or recent past, and there's something that is causing them some. Mm, something that is causing them like bad memories, bad. I want to say regret, you know, but I don't know yet. But because this is this person is in a in a mental mental space that is not a healthy space. It's not it's not good. Self frustration, fails self frustration and torment. This person is like they're being tormented. They and it's all because of themselves. First of all, I'm gonna tell you this. This is because of something they did, not you. This is self self frustration is because of something they frustrated with themselves for something they did, not what somebody else did. They know that they did something. They pissed off and they're angry, and they in their headspace about it. They think about it probably often because that's what this is. They longing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just said it. Yep, regret. They they are they have a, a, a buku. They got buku regrets. They got a bunch. They they like well, you know they sit there and you see what they doing. They're just sitting there at work or wherever, and they think to themselves, you know, why did why did I do this or why whatever the case is. And they longing, two cars longing back to back. I mean, one on top, the other. See? Longing. This one, regrets and longing. Fell on top of that one. <laughs> it's like, damn. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Regret and longing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they want they want to move away from that. They can't. They can't for whatever reason. They want to. You see, they want to let go of the memories. They want to let go of the whatever is causing mental anguish. Who wouldn't? Everybody would. They want to let go. They want to move away from that, withdraw from it. Not everybody has that kind of capability. Not everybody has that capability to do that. Just to detach and say, F it. You know, it is what it is. I'll take the loss and move on with my life. No, not everybody can do that. It takes a lot of practice. A few lifetimes, in fact. We learn. Earth angels, over a couple of lifetimes, twin flames, especially twin flames, you learn that because uh, I, I, wanna, I can't remember that. That's a movie that uh, it resonates with me when it comes to this. It's I forgot the name of it. Repeat, uh, repeat something about this cat. I forget who plays in. I think it's Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt. One of them. I can't remember, but. Then somebody's gonna put it in the comments. I can guarantee you, they they know what they're gonna know the movie I'm talking about. This cat keeps going back, and it, it keeps going back. It's, it starts off at a certain uh, uh, time of his life, and within that the time frame, and it goes back, and he keeps and he gets killed. She go back again, and it's like over and over until, and it, what each time he goes, he learns. Each time he goes, he learns. And uh, I can't remember. I think I fell asleep during that movie. Yeah, my bra, she watched the whole thing. And I was, I ate me some popcorn. Yeah, that was, that was the end of that. Me and my, my, me and Levi fell asleep. But uh, I remember that part of the movie. But this person can't detach. They cannot, they, nope, you see? Next card up, remorse. They got some remorse. 
guilt, melancholy. They, yeah, they, they, they in their head about it. Hmm. And they're mournful. They sigh. They're in grief about the whole situation. But you know what? I don't understand when, it, when I read. I have a reading like this, and I'm, uh, you know, it's, I can't believe the spread. The whole spread is going to be this because that a spread is kind of like time. It it starts off, and then as it as your spread grows, especially with the pyramid spread, as your spread grows and it opens up. It changes. It, it there's some changes that happen with that spread. So it's telling you, it's telling me that this is what started off right now today. This person is in a devil energy, pissed off at the world, pissed off at themselves. They don't know why that happened. They don't know why they did this. Why blah blah blah, and it's gonna change. Hopefully, I hope it does, cause this is like a depressing spread right here. Whew, I can feel it. I can feel the the. I can feel it. Yeah, and then they're mournful and they, 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 they got grief. Yeah, and it, it landed on top of the, the self-frustration and torment, you see. Poor baby, whoever, and, and I say baby, but this could be a dude. This could be a, a, a masculine or feminine energy. This is not a gender-specific. Men cry too. Men have grief too. Yeah. They got some self doubt. Self doubt, they're insecure. And they feel like they're not enough. They feel like they're not enough. They're insecure. But you know a lot of the a lot of the the reason they feel this way is because of what they do. It's not because of what everybody else does, it's because of their own decisions. Because what you decide to do and what choices you make reflect that affects other people and their choices. You know, what Captain Reed does, the choices I make affects my bride. And it affects her choices. And and that it's a ripple effect in a lake. And my bride's choices affects my daughter's choices, and it goes from there. And people don't understand that. Whatever you do affects the time continuum, you know, and it's, it's it's all it's all. You have a timeline that that choice that choice you're gonna make here, it's gonna it's gonna affect something else. Then you start another timeline. That timeline runs. You make another choice, and a lot of, it, it can it can be confusing. I hope I'm not confusing y'all. But anyway, let's move on. Oh, oh yeah, see, you gotta love the love hate relationship with somebody. And you know what that means? That means that they they love this, they love some things and hate some things. Maybe they 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 hate the fact that they love this person. Yeah. You like what? It, it's like a mixed it mixed emotion. Mixed emotion. They don't know why. They know why they hate they love this person. They know why this person. They they know why. See now they may love this person. Before, they hated this person for for whatever reason. Don't know why, but because it fell on top of of detached and letting go. You know, they love this person. Now, or they hate this person. Now, now they hate him. They want to let him go. They want to get rid of detached, withdraw. Before they might have loved this person. We'll see how it goes, but. They, it's it's a mixed emotions card, and this card fell, devil energy, uh, suffering and pain, insanity, they mental, they in their, their, their mental space and their head space about this, they, uh, and then the next card after that was detach, let go, they want to but they can't, they can't. They're jealous and envious of either this person or somebody affected with this person. Not not this this person that this reading is about. 
my soul tribes person, my spiritual warriors person that this is going to resonate with, either now or past, is jealous and envious of somebody else, perhaps my spiritual warrior. And really, I think that's what it is. I think they they jealous and envious of my spiritual warriors, my soul tribe, because of perhaps their character. Some people, some people are just jealous of another person's character. Like you can have be a, have an awesome character. You walk into a room and the room lights up because you you there. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants to get close to you. Everybody, and that's what an earth angel is. An earth angel, I'm telling you, you can be in the Superdome with 60,000 people. And that one person that needs help is going to walk straight up to you. Never knew him before in your life. Never met him before. He's going to come right up to you and be like, can I help you? Can, 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 look. Like, yeah, I need help. Can you help me with something? I don't know where. It's happened to me. Mm-hmm. It's happened to me. To me and my bride. We was on our way to Oklahoma one time. Stopped at a at a station. And uh, out of nowhere, black man come up to me and said, I need help. Can you help me? I said, I don't know. Depends on what it is. What you got? He said, I need some gas. And I'm trying to get it to Waco. My wife, she's pregnant. She's in the, in the car. Hmm. I said, can I meet her? She said, absolutely. Walked up there. Say, hey, boo. Say, how you feeling? She said, I'm fine. She said, I'm good. She said, we're trying to get to, to Waco. And she said, we, uh, it's not going as planned. Hmm. I said, well, your plan's going to get better. And I said, go ahead, put your, put your gas, fill it up. Fill it up. And I said, when you finish, we'll go in the store. We'll get you something to eat, boo. Gave him whatever money I had in my wallet, and they drove off. I told him. And he said, I just want to tell you thank you. Appreciate it. I said, I thank me. Thank God. Thank God that you ran into me. Me and my bride. My bride went over there and said hey to her also. But uh, some people get jealous. They're just jealous of you because you are a good person. You are a decent human being. And it ain't about material shit. People totally misunderstand us. Totally misunderstand. This ain't a, uh, we live our lives and we were sent here not to become Elon Musk rich. We don't use none of that for that purpose. We're here to change people's lives. I say that all the time. Mm. Yes, self, yeah, you see, they in despair. Yeah, they stress and they worry. See that? Yeah. YouTube just gives me a tool to change the world. Instead of changing one person at a time, I can change a lot of people. Just with, with my channel. The people that I change, they go and they change people. Well, I'm going to tell you what that is. It's the ripple effect on a pond. My drop in the lake ripples and you a ripple and you're gonna change somebody and first thing you know we don't change the whole world wow wow be like damn it's all because of cat marie i ain't taking credit for it it's all god god has everything to do with that this channel is because of god not because of me i i have a gift that god gave me and some people don't like that either some people don't like the fact that you got a gift like, we didn't know that Oh, I didn't know I had to tell them about it. I didn't know, you know. Yeah, too much. So you said I just said that. It's, they, it's unbearable. It's, it's they in despair. And it's an unbearable, too much. Too much. And sometimes you want to help somebody. You want to help people. But they don't help themselves. A person, I, I put that also. People got to want to change. You have to want to be saved. I mean, uh, uh, you know, as a lifeguard, when I was a lifeguard, I, you swim out to, to save somebody. You got two choices when you're going to save them. They got to want to be saved. For one, they got to latch on and, and, uh, and hold on to you. And if they fight you, you got to knock them out. 
knock them unconscious, and then you save them, bring them to the shore, and then you bring them back to afterwards. It's pretty girl. Shh. What? Be like, girl. So, I don't like hitting no chicks, man. But look, you, you fight me. I ain't gonna let you die. I might I might let you drown and then I wake up, be like, I'm gonna be kissing on her. Be like, mm, mm. Be like, what are you doing? Saving your life, boo. What you talking about? What I'm doing? Anyway. <laughs> be like, damn, girl. Yeah, they scared. This person is, they in, in, just like I said, pe people are fight or flight. And when you get in that, in both of them, fight and flight, you get in that scared, that scared position. And when you afraid or when you feel trapped, you're either going to fight or you're going to run. In most situations, I'll fight. I ain't no runner. I'm too old to run now anyway. They're like, hold on. Hope the battery's charged on my scooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They devoted. They, yeah, they they praying. See, this is starting to change. Remember what I told you a while ago? This spread is, is slowly gravitating to a, a different emotional state, a different, a different picture, different time. They're beginning to, they want to pray. They they are praying. This land on top of love, hate. What that what that saying is? They have mixed emotions. They have mixed emotions, and they want to. They're praying, and what are they praying for? They're praying that they want to be bold. They want to be, they. They want to be bold, and they want to be brave. They're praying for strength for something, whatever that is. And remember, just because there's a a lady on this card doesn't mean it's it, it's just like not not gender specific. Yeah, they thinking about something, they are praying about it, and they are praying for strength, and they they contemplating, hmm. contemplating. They want to decide something. There is some indecision in this in this reading. They thinking to themselves that they they thinking about whoever my spiritual warrior is that their person or the person that this this energy is about. They they praying they they, they need the strength they want to be brave and they reflecting and they contemplating they like maybe how should I handle this? A lot of times you get in a situation where you don't know how to handle it or you you feel like you boxed in you can't there is no flight. It's a fight. You're going to fight because they ain't know where to run. And they're shocked. They're surprised. They're in disbelief over something. Over something. And this fell on top of stressed and too much. These two cars. Stressed and it's too much and they're losing it. They found something out that caused them to feel like I'm about to lose my, my hmm. Hmm. That's how that's how it is the reading is progressing. They found something, I don't know what. It don't it ain't we no, I don't think let's see what this is. Uh, even though they found something out. Even though they found something out, they're optimistic. They're optimistic about maybe the decision that they need to make. Maybe. Oh, whatever decision that has love, hate, it's about love. It's about somebody that they love. It's about somebody that they are infatuated with now. Perhaps they weren't before because they had a hate relationship. They was like, I can't stand their ass. I hate them. Because sometimes when somebody don't get their way or, or sometimes when one person puts pressure on another person, they don't really hate them, but that's what they say. That's where the love hate comes from. You know, they're like, I can't stand them. I hate them. Yeah, they feel like right now they're unseen. Whoever this person is right here, 
they're not being noticed by a certain person that they want them to notice them. This person possibly is blocked. Uh, they block, they detached, they... Whoever this person wants to be seen by, they, they want somebody to notice them. They're not. They don't, they don't, their life, they don't pack their bags and they, they don't moved on. Mm -hmm. And they, it's bothering the hell out of them. You can, you can see that's why they're in that devil energy. They're pissed. That, you know, and I guess in one situation they may say, well, I can't believe their ass moved on. I can't believe that. They just, they just moved on. But it's, it, maybe, but they thought that's what you wanted. You know, they thought that's what you wanted. I don't know. We're going to turn a few Tyra cards and. Oh. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Hangman in the upright. The page of pentacles in the upright. Hmm. Let's see here. The six of pentacles in reverse. And the hangman. And the page. Yeah. This is a see that's what I was saying earlier you start off with a card ah oh, man it's bothering you start off with a card and uh, you need a couple of other cards to get the, the understanding of this card the six of pentacles in reverse is telling me and the hangman in the upright is telling me that this person financially is trapped they need help. They need help financially. That's a fact. It's the Holy Spirit is telling me. And the page of Pentacles is telling me that what, oops. And, and this is in Taurus energy. The six of, of Pentacles in reverse. That's in that Taurus energy. I'm not saying that it's a Taurus. I'm just saying that it's in the energy of Taurus. Uh, it's, Stubborn, stubborn, bullheaded. They like that dog. It. You just sometimes you want to just, you know, proverbial speaking. You want to kill them and make some ribeye steaks with them because they just they it's it, you know you want to make ground meat and make hamburgers with that because they they so hard headed, so stubborn. Taurus is a high ego, high arrogance. They flashy. The bull is flashy. Yeah, when the bull is standing out there in the rodeo arena, they all that. Everybody stay away from them. They all that and they the shit. That's that's that that type of energy. But right now, they in dire straits. They need help. That's what that's telling me. That's what that's telling me. Yep. Uh, hmm. The page is in the Virgo energy. And the page of, of Pentacles is saying that they're gonna they're gonna maybe try to send a message to somebody that they need help. Perhaps the reason that they haven't sent it so far is they, they don't want to be rejected because of that. Let's see what, oh yeah, they juggling, they juggling, two of pentacles, a lot of pentacles so far, this is all about finances, this is all about finances, yep, this is all about material stuff, pentacles. So far, because of the, it could have it could have meant something else, but right now the way I see this is, and it lands on top of 
the hangman and the upright. They feel trapped. They, they, they are headed into poverty. That's a fact. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what some of these that critique my reading and this is not what it means. This is exactly what this means. This means that this person that's in the Six of Pentacles in reverse energy in this Taurus energy is in dire straits. They they get they in getting themselves in a situation that they're not gonna be able to come out of. They they what you would call borderline, they on the precipice of bankrupt. The soon, very soon. I mean it's and it's quick, it's approaching very quickly. Their only option is going to be bankrupt. Because you see, there's only two options on this card. Only two. You got to get your shit together, you're going to bankrupt. And the only way for them to get their shit together is to get a message to somebody that can save them, help them. But they don't know if that person is going to want to, perhaps. And that's what this top row is about right here. Mm -hmm. That's what this top row is about. And this oracle, they're praying. They, 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 they need strength. They contemplating. They're thinking about things. What's caused this? Where they at right now? They did this, and they know that. They know that they caused this situation. It's nobody else. They did it. Ooh, judgment in reverse. See, indecisiveness. Said that a while ago. They know they have to make a decision. Two of Pentacles in reverse. They juggling. They know they're going to they gonna drop something. Something's going to fall. And they can't make a decision. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're aware of it. They, 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 the, the judgment in reverse. They aware of what they need to do. They really, they know the decision, they, but they, they, they can't make it. They can't, they can't bring themselves to, to make that decision. Yeah, nine of cups in the upright. Nine of cups in the upright. <laughs> Wish fulfillment. Nine of cups in the This landed on top of the page of pentacles in the upright. The message that they need to send is this person. This is where their wish fulfillment's always been. They, they, they need to send a message to this wish fulfillment so that they can, they can get the help they need. Mm -hmm. It is their wish that somebody step up and help them. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, tell us a little bit more about what's... What, ooh. Yeah. This is not a bad card, though. The, the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is not a bad card. They, they, what they're trying to get themselves out of a... They're in a situation where things is falling apart around them. They, it's, it's just, it's not a good situation. And they're trying to get themselves out of it. They, they're trying to pick themselves up. And, uh... And they say to themselves, I've learned my lesson, but really have they? See, this is a cyclic person. This person right here, this is a person that leaves a cycle and they, they get into another cycle similar to what they, they had before. And it starts all over again. And you can tell them that you're doing the same shit you did before. Why are you doing that? Does it stop them? No, it doesn't. It don't stop them. But they want to. They, they, this card is saying they want to stop themselves. They want to change. They want to fix that issue. <clears throat> Page of Wands in reverse. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. In the Sagittarius. In the Sagittarius. And... The Ten of Swords in reverse that's in Gemini 
and Gemini energy. Yeah. Mm. This is a page of wands in reverse. This person feels like it, 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 the message they need to send in the with the page of, of Pentacles, they feel like it's it, it's going to be pointless. It's one of those. It's one of those situations where, like I said, my nose is itching. Mm. Some God is this. I'm telling you, this person got some trouble right here because of. of What's happening? But they feel the page of wands. They feel like they're not. They're not gonna get the help that they need. They're not gonna. They have maybe. They you know. And I'm just proverbial speaking. They may have burned a bridge or or pushed someone away or or isolated themselves. Maybe pick somebody else. Whoever, whatever the case is, but they, they, that's what that's saying right here. Ten of Swords in reverse and the Page of Wands in reverse next to each other. Sagittarius energy. They're not going to, in their own mind now. I'm not saying that they're not. They may, but right now, the indecision, they, they, they may not even send the message. They want to, but they may. That's one of those things where they type a message and it's like, oh boy, I'm just, I'm going to send this and. I have a lot of hope and I have a lot of, of optimism and I'm positive about this message. But then they like start thinking about it to themselves and it's like, no, I ain't sending that. It's going to make me look weak. And then they get in their ego. Yeah. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah, they want to move to some calmer waters. They want to move to calmer waters. And that's... That's what I was just talking about. They know what they need to do. They know, but they're not doing it. They, they know. They need to move away from whatever they're doing. And I don't mean literally move. I'm talking about moving in, in uh, whatever the case is. Uh, they, they, things that they're doing. Move away from that. Financially, the mistakes you're making, move away from that. They know that they need to do all of this. They're just not doing it for whatever the case is, I guess. I don't know what the... Sometimes it's hard to... Yeah. The three of Cups in the upright. Three of Cups in the upright. Yeah. There's two things we know right here. It's a third party person place a thing I think it's a, a person and I think that this is is a relationship that they got in with the way this is read their wish fulfillment which is the nine of cups is not that third party it's not because they want to move away this landed right at, right abreast of of the six of swords so that's telling me that they want to get the hell away from whatever third party situation that they're in because they feel like this is the one that's caused most of the problems. But actually, that's not true. They caused most of the problems because of the decisions they made. Oops. I'm sorry to tell y'all that, but uh, son in reverse. Lack of enthusiasm. The ego, I just mentioned that. Just mentioned it, son in reverse, their ego, their arrogance, they, and that Taurus energy. Mm -hmm. Bull, bull is the most egotistical out of all of the signs. Yes. Most egotistical asshole out of, in all the signs. I don't give a, please don't comment and tell me that something different. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, I promise you. Bought a bunch of souvenirs from that, from them. Yes. Sun in reverse is sadness. What, what sun in reverse is, you see the sun in the upright, it's just bright, it's light. You got a lot of, of sunshine, 
Sunshine on my shoulders make me happy. Well, this is reverse, boo. Sun going down. You, it's a cloudy day. Ooh. I'm sorry. They got some storm clouds in the, in the, right there in the horizon. When you're looking at them and they coming, you can bet your ass on that. Remember what I said? That two of pentacles. You're gonna have some choices. You're gonna have to make because you on the press. You, you like you got two choices. Mm -hmm. You got two choices. Especially if you ain't got nobody saved. If you don't have a lifeguard to go get you, you're in deep water and you're going to drown. You're going to have to either file for bankruptcy or you're going to have to find somebody else. Somebody going to have to save you. Hmm. It don't look good, I'm going to tell you that. Huh. <laughs> See? Oh, man. Eight of swords. They stuck like Chuck. They, and they blindfolded. Don't know which way to go to get out of the situation they in. Stuck like you. Hey, hands are tied. Mm -hmm. Hands are tied. You know, see all them swords around them? See all them swords around them? You know what that is? That's people that's talking and giving them badass advice. That's why they stuck like you. The one that they should have listened to, they didn't. The one that they should have kept close to them, they didn't because that's the one, that's the lifeguard. That's the one that could have swam out to get them. Well, they would have never gotten that situation. They'd be like, blow their whistle. You're in deep, get over here. Come over here, y'all. Get out. Yeah. Bad situation right there. They are stuck hopeless. And they ain't got no, they're powerless. They ain't got no, the more they make, it's like, it's, it's like, as fast as they make money, it's gone. That's the, that's the, that's the reading, right? That's the spread. When, when they make some money and they work more, they can work more and make more money, but it, it doesn't matter. Boom, it's gone. Yes, we call that in, in the reading community, we call that in the spiritual community, financial karma. I don't give a damn if they won the lottery. The shit would disappear within a week. It would be gone. Fact. Karma would take it all. Because of something that they done. That they got to pay for. And if they can't pay for it this lifetime. They're going to pay for it next lifetime. All their kids are going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. It's called a generational curse. I'm sorry about that too. The Herophon. Mm-hmm. Yes. The hair of fawn. Oh, in reverse. The hair of fawn in reverse. Uh, yeah, this person's been challenging. This person's been. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, they, they talking in my head. Yeah, this person has went against tradition when it comes to themselves like this person's a spiritual person this person is actually a spiritual person but they're not acting like it they 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 have moved away from the spiritual path and they have taken up non-traditional things they have maybe uh picked up uh, addictions that they shouldn't have uh, promiscuous they become promiscuous when they shouldn't have there's things that they know that they have done that they shouldn't have done and it has driven them away from spiritualism, the spiritual path. And in some cases, they became spiritually defiant, meaning that they want to fight those who are spiritual. They like, they deny spiritualism. They, they deny their own spirituality. They're like, no, I am not. You know, like, let's say you tell them you did. You are an earth angel. What are you doing? No, I'm not. Like, okay, boo. I don't believe in karma. Ooh, but you will. You know, I can assure you that. Unbelievable. The last spread we had with the devil. Hmm. This person is totally in, unbalanced. They ain't got no balance in their lives. They have conflict going on with somebody. That's somebody with this energy. I don't know if it's with my my spiritual warriors, my soul tribe. I don't think it is. Uh, because I think my spiritual warriors, my soul tribe detached. 
cut cut them off completely. Yeah, cord cutting. They did it. They're like, we're done. I'm good. Go do what you want to do. But the person that they went, do what they want to do with, whoever that is, friends, whatever, their, their third parties, whatever the case is, you know, the three of cups, because that's what it landed on top of, three of cups. They in conflict with somebody. Mm, they got the monkey with somebody. They're like, you give my banana back, boy. Lack of perspective. Yeah, they got none. They don't know what to do. This harmony they are in. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, unbelievable. The devil energy. That's in the Capricorn energy right there. Capricorn, that's the devil energy. I'm not saying the Capricorns are the devil. I'm just saying it's the devil energy. And, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Six of wands. In reverse. Six of wands in reverse. In the Leo energy. Right next to the devil energy in reverse, next to the Hierophant in reverse. And you got Eight of Swords in the upright. This person feels stuck. They because of things that they or have done or doing pop possibly still doing, that the Hierophant is also in a, ta a Taurus energy in reverse. They arrogant, they egotistical, they don't want to admit that. You know, I have made some bad choices. I've made some wrong choices. That's why they pissed off and angry at everybody. And it's their fault. Now you got the devil energy in reverse. They like in conflict because they pissed off. They they angry. Now you got the six of wands in reverse. And it is they feel like a failure. They feel like a failure. Like and in some cases, and this right here, is it, they're gonna, I, I get the poor pitiful me energy. You know, oh, you know, poor thing, I, you know, the world is against me, whatever the case is. Uh, yeah, eight of cups and the upright. Yeah, they wanna move away from whatever's going on here. What if you got, you got the, the, the third party, devil energy on top of the third party. Uh, six of Wands on top of the third party. Mm -mm. They they like mm, no, we done. I, I don't I don't want to do this. They uh, because of you and because of what has happened. I feel like I'm it's, um um disgraced. This this has been an illusion. What I thought was gonna happen it is didn't happen. Why, you know, and, and in their mind, they're like, why did I make the choice to do this? It's, they can't believe it themselves. We're going to do the mess deck. I haven't done the mess deck in a while. So we'll do the mess deck. And we'll do, just do a, a, a uh, oh, first one out. <laughs> they want a clean slate. They want to start over. They want another chance. That's what this card is. Clean slate. They want to start. They want another chance. They want to. Mm hmm That's what that is. They want another oh this is trust. We'll see what this is going on here with this. Yes. Can you forgive me? Somebody don't trust them no more. They did at one time possibly trust this person big time. That this person wants to have that trust reinstated. They want to show them that you can trust me. But you see, the problem with that is once you do that to somebody, that trust factor is like, there's always going to be a lingering thought in a person's mind that I don't trust them. That's a fact. I, I'm like that. Once you once you betray me, once you do me dirty, you ain't never you ain't going to do it twice. You, this, you know, you, you, I may let you give you some leeway a couple of times, but once I have an ass full, I'm done. Once you show me, I'll give you I'll give you a couple of chances to 
redeem yourself? And it says, can you forgive me? But once you prove to me that you ain't going to change, yeah, that's person, the one that whoever this is to, I love you. Now they love you. They landed on top of trust. This person is in love. <laughs> See? Give me another chance and land it on top of can you forgive me and trust. It split the two cards. They can really, they, they saying we can really build that trust. We can, if you give me another chance. If you give me another chance, we can rebuild this, this trust. And that's going to be up to my soul tribe, I guess. It's going to be up to my spiritual warriors. Are you going to give them another chance? Are you willing to take that chance to... They feel like they're drowning. But why, Holy Spirit, are they drowning? What, what are, I, I'm, I'm assuming this is the financial part of it. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking because we, we was talking about this a while ago. That they, the pinnacles, it landed right here on top of the two pinnacles in the reverse. Yeah, you see? Yep. I need you financially. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I would rather somebody be honest with me and tell me, listen, I don't want you. I don't really, it doesn't make me any difference one way if you take another breath or not. But I need your help. I need you financially. I need you right now. And once I'm done with you financially, I'm going to get rid of your ass again. So, you know, I would rather you be truthful with me and tell me the truth and we can work from there. At least I know what the base card is from that point on. I know that they don't care one way or another about me, but, and that's just the way it is. This person is struggling. This person is struggling financially. They sucking. They are, they are sucking. God. I hate it where I'm at. If they do, I mean, if this is going on right here, this entire row is about pinnacles. It's about, because once you put financial pain on, on somebody, once you cause somebody financial pain, they, they, it, they may have, be a love-hate relationship after that. They'd be like, damn, I hate this person. They caused me all kind of issues I didn't need. And all that time, I thought they loved me. I love them, and this is what's going on, and that's what this is right here. This is what this is. Whoever they went to caused them a lot of issues that they didn't need. They thought they thought different. This person thought something different. Oh, you see, betrayed. I said that a while ago. Yeah, this person, they 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 feel betrayed. They feel betrayed by a third party. Yes, you see? Oh my good. They feel betrayed by a third party. Keep talking to us, Holy Spirit. Oh, this is fair. Oh, I don't know. If they got sleeve tattoos, or the third party got sleeve tattoos, but somebody got sleeve tattoos. You bet your ass on that. Ink is heavy on top of the elbow. That means that possibly the, the entire, from, from their shoulder down, or possibly the shoulder included up to the elbow is heavy with ink. And then they may have a couple of tattoos below that. But yeah, this person, their third party person, tattooed up. Yeah, they tattooed up. Mm. Ooh, and they have lots of regrets. This person got some regrets. They're like, damn. Yeah. I should have looked at them tattoos from a distance. I didn't need to see them tattoos up close in bed. <laughs> Whoever they need the financial help from, they hold the key to their heart. Right now they do. Yeah, now they do. Yeah, they had they lost the key but before though because they didn't went to the third party. The, the, they betrayed the the third party that got the sleeve tattoos, they betrayed this person. I don't know how, but they did. They betrayed them. That's what the Holy Spirit said. And they are they are so under a soul contract with someone. 
And it ain't the third party. You can bet your ass on that. Yeah, it's not tattoo. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm. This person may have some health issues. And this doesn't mean it, it don't have to, it can, but it can also mean mental health issues. This because they had earlier with the first spread we did, they they had a lot of mental issues. But it could also mean uh, physical health issues. I won't admit it, but you were right about everything. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. I won't admit it. Why don't you admit it and just let's move on with our lives? I mean, shit, it'd be a whole lot better. You can get a whole lot more out of me, that's for sure, if you come to me and say, you know what, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. You was right about a lot of things you told me. You was right. I did, I did you wrong, and I should. Yeah, that you get a whole lot more out of me than if you come up to me and be like, you know what? You was wrong about everything you told me. Can I get some help from you? <laughs> You're like, you can walk away from me still lonely. <laughs> you can walk away from me still isolated. You bet your ass on that. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm ashamed of what I've done. Golly. Oh, again, some more tattoos. I'm telling you, the person that they had, they had some tattoos. They, they got tattoos. Whoever they been with, possibly every person they've been with, has got tattoos. They tattooed up. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. On the bottom it says, I miss you. It sure do. It says, I miss you. I didn't write it down, but I did answer Bev on, on Messenger, and uh, she sent me, a, and, and she thanked me for answering the questions that I answered for her, and, and it's all good. It's all, I'm happy to be able to, to do that if I can help her and put her on in the right direction. Awesome. Uh, There's some things that we discussed that I feel more like I'm, I'm being a, a relationship counselor than anything else now, but uh, people give some, uh, uh, I don't know how to put it, but, and she'll, she, she knows who I'm, who she, she'll know this is about that, but people don't just change overnight. People change gradually. Sometimes those changes we notice, but they think we don't. And they lie. I hate to say that, but they lie. They make changes in their life and then they say, well, this is about something else. Or in her case, that her person started doing things and they changed Appearance-wise, they changed some, and they couldn't understand it, what, what was going on, and why it was going on, and whatever the case is. And what was going on is they were changing for somebody else. What you liked, they didn't care about anymore. What you wanted, they didn't care about anymore. They cared about somebody else, and they wanted to make changes based on that other person. And that's what I expressed to Bev. So she, so she knew what was, was more or less what was going on. And that's just a fact. People change their lives. They change things in their lives. Even, I mean, if you even tell somebody, listen, I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't really care for it. I'd rather what you, the way you were, uh, I'd rather you like you were than in the direction you're going. And they make some bullshit excuse about it. Like, you know, well, uh, this and that, or, or whatever the case is, whatever that case is, 
perhaps they ask you to make some changes in your life, the other person, because they want you to be more like the person that they, they gravitated towards. Like, no, boo, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that, I don't wanna be like that. Like, Cap Marie ain't got no tattoos. I say, the person wants me to go get a tattoo? Oh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> no, hell no. No, you, you might as well go find a tattooed up dude because this ain't gonna happen with me. You're gonna take me like a hammer. You just, you shit out of luck. But you can listen to me. People change over time. And they, they even when you tell them, I see changes in you I don't like. Can you stop this bullshit and like go back to the way things were? Because, and um, once once things get to a point that it's out of control, they have no explanation anymore why they changed so much. And it's one of those situations where they stuck with the devil because that's all they got. They ain't got no no angel no more because that angel done went off with somebody else or. They'd rather be with somebody else that ain't gonna change like this person is. They're more consistent. And I told that to Bev. And uh, I think she understands. She really appreciates it. There's a couple of people, a few, a couple, more than, more than just Bev on Messenger that talked to me. And I am not a counselor. I want you to understand that. It's on my disclaimer. I am not a therapist. I am not a relationship counselor, but I do have life experiences. I do have I do have wisdom when it comes to this. Been through shit a lot, been hurt a lot, and the best ex the best experience when it comes to that type of situation is a past experience. You learn from it, and whatever you learn, you take it and you teach other people. And that's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to help. So. What, whatever changes are going on and that person refuses to to make adjustments it's it's a done situation they they are changing for somebody else they are not changing for themselves you can take my word on that just a fact so stay close to god i love y'all big time thank you so much for the support that y'all gave me i i i love each and every one of you I appreciate everything when it comes to the support that y'all give me. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. My, my channel is growing, and it has grown. Started off with Mystic Beauty, and I thank her. I will appreciate her for the rest of my days on this earth. And then when I come back, I'll try to look her up again. <laughs> but uh, uh, stay close to God. Talk to him. He wants to hear from you. In times of need, in times of strength, in times of support, that's the one you want to go to. I mean, you can, you can contact Cap Marie. You can message me or comment, and I'll, I'll answer the message. If you don't want to, for everybody to know it, message me on Messenger, read 2962. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I have deactivated my Facebook account, so... I'm just not into it. Got too much going on. I got face. I had Facebook and instant message. I had uh, no. I'm not instant message. Uh, uh, Instagram, and I, it's just too much to keep up with. So I, I'm pretty more concentrated on YouTube. I do some TikTok every once in a while. I use my community board on on YouTube more than anything else because uh, I, I like it. I like it, and everything is on one channel. Well, everything is on one platform, is what I'm saying. I ain't got to go back and forth. And, uh, but anyway, I love y'all to death. Peace out.